Kelly one high. Hi, Kaya. Hi, Kaya.
Are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> Hi, Kaya. Hi, I'm like so nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Hi, Kaya. Hi, Kaya. I thank you guys so much for all of the follows and the gifted subs already. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, Kaya. Okay, okay, okay. I have this like fear that when I like change to the to to the next screen that. Uh, something will not be like the way that Hi, I Kaya. left it. You know what I mean? Um, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. Kaya, remember to stay hydrated. Yes, I will stay hydrated. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna look when I'm drinking. Okay, not so weird. <laughs> Boss, thank you so much. Uh. <laughs> wow. I know it's so crazy, right? <laughs> I'll make the the background music like a little bit um not as loud. Thank you guys so much <laughs> for the support. I know literally just a few days ago, I was just a, a little PNG. Aaron, thank you so much for the bit. <laughs> Growing up so fast. <laughs> okay, I have to like get used to like my position, like um, how I should be like positioning myself because you know, like, as someone who was just like a PNG for a while, I um, didn't really matter how I like sat, you know? Hey, banana back. Thank you for the posture check. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate um, all of this. Okay, okay. So, I uh, prepared a little slideshow. Um, 
it's it's not really a slideshow. It's n it's not really a slideshow. It's just like pictures that I'm gonna like rotate <laughs> because I like I didn't know how to like make a slideshow. I mean, I know how to make a slideshow, but I don't have like PowerPoint or anything like that on my computer. But um, yeah. Okay. Is the background music not too loud? Everything sounds okay. Okay. All right, so we will go to our first slide. Um, I will have to like readjust myself. Thank you so much for the follow. Poff BM minus Poff A. Okay. So, um, hi, uh, this is, I know a lot of you, um, already know me because I did stream before, um, you know, becoming a VTuber, so some of this stuff is not new, um, but I just made a little about me, um, oh, I just want to preface all of this by saying that, um, I'm sick right now, so I'm, uh, more low energy than usual um i have a really bad sore throat that i've had for um over a week now i would say um and i'm getting tested for covid on <laughs> on tuesday <laughs> um so if i seem a little um like my voice sounds a little scratchy um that that's why okay so thank you so much um yeah everyone is getting sick these days um okay so um my name is Kaya um it's pronounced Kaya not Kelly um yeah <laughs> um by profession I'm a ballet dancer um which is interesting I guess it's exciting um that is uh, I'm a professional dancer <laughs> um my favorite food uh is donuts and blueberry and if those two things are together it's like the best thing in the world um I also like some other food like pizza and stuff like that um I'm I I, I, I eat pretty bad and that's one of my new year's uh, resolutions is to eat better um okay <laughs> um I am from Europe uh, that that is where I was born I am not American or Canadian I, I'm sure people will assume that because I don't really have a strong accent um but yeah I'm I'm from Europe <laughs> next I love k-pop and R&B music those two are my favorite uh music genres um recently I started getting into k-pop music I would say last year and I was introduced to k-pop by Jay and Chrissy um hi Bromo. <laughs> Hi, Bruno, how are you? Um, yeah, so, um, uh, my favorite K-pop group is Stacy, Itzy, Red Velvet, and Twice. Those are my favorite groups. And I really like, um, some, some new groups, too. Thank you so much for... <laughs> Gifting us up to Kevy Rise. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, and also I really like RB music. That's also um, my favorite. 
type of music to listen to as well. Um, something I've um, been getting into recently is listening to R&B K-pop, which is like so good to me. Like I love those like kind of like minimal songs that are like, uh, you know, very soft and whatnot. Okay, so that is the About Me. And, um, okay, another way, I guess... Hi, Kaya. <laughs> Victor, how are you? <laughs> uh, another way to, to get to know me more is by joining my Discord. Uh, my Discord has a lot of fun things. Um, we talk, we... Uh, I notify you guys on any updates with my life, um, if I'm uh, canceling stream or going live. Um, and uh, we have a gambling channel where if you have the most um, points from gambling by the end of the month, then you will get a free um, one month subscription to discord nitro which is exciting welcome unknown forces okay okay moving on my streams um this is what to expect uh from my streams um i mostly stream genshin impact that's like one of my favorite games in the world <laughs> um I also stream uh, this new game that I've been playing called Cozy Grove. It's a really cozy game. Of, that's the type of game genre I'm mostly into is like cozy games. Um, yeah, those are like my favorite. Oh yes, I, I'm doing better. It's my it's my knee actually, um, but I'm feeling better. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Turbo. Um, I also play Animal Crossing. Um, that is also one of my favorite games of all times. Um, yeah, that one is, uh, that game is like very special to my heart. Okay. Uh, I don't play that one as much anymore, uh, but I still play that game. <laughs> um, Next is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Uh, that's obviously a new game, and I've been playing that on and off as well. And Stardew Valley, I have a co-op Stardew Valley um, town with my mods that I play sometimes. <laughs> uh, what happened to my knee? I fell in dance and I fractured my knee, but I'm feeling fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, as fine as I can be. Sorry, I'm like scratching my nose right now. This is what it looks like when I'm scratching my nose. <laughs> okay. That is what to expect um, from my streams. Yeah. Okay, now um, this is a command um exclamation point credits this is also in my panels a link to this um it's a like huge list um thank you for doing that command lyrics um a huge list of every single person who um made something for my channel um from my model to my scenes to the sounds that you hear um everything is listed in that card Thank you, Victor. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be going through um, like some of the some of the major ones um, next. Levi, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so next um, I'm gonna be going through each of the the credits uh, one by one. Or in groups, I suppose. Okay, first is my model. My model that you see here. Um, the person who designed my model is the, the first person on this list. Pion Chart. 
Um, she designed my model um, and how I look. The second person, uh, Hao Lucille, she's the person who drew my live 2D model. So this exact thing that you see here, uh, she drew it. She drew everything in like a bajillion layers. <laughs> um, next is Kevin, Kev Art. Um, he's the one who rigged my model. So uh, the, the reason why uh, my model moves is because of him. And I will show you really quickly uh, some of my emotions. So, um, it, it's really cool. I have them all, like, um, uh, connected to my stream deck. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Um, so I have this one. It's blushing. Okay, that's one. Imagine having emotions, yeah. Um, then I have this angry one. Hi, Lee. Okay, then I have sad. So sad. So sad. Then I have, um, Spectre, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Victor. I really appreciate it. Um, no, no, Lee, no, no. <laughs> um, then I have this one. It's, um, ho, ho, ho. I don't know what you would call that. Um. <laughs> um then uh okay, okay. Nova knows. Then I have this one. It was just just the 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 blue part from the from the crying face. Then I have this like sweating one. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm sweating here. Then I have, um, okay, so I have, um, my, it's my tongue sticking out. <laughs> Um, but my tongue also, I can just do that. It kind of reminds me of if you guys have like any Apple device and you have like that like thing where it toggles. Thank you so much for the sub, Andrew. I really appreciate it. Smiley face. <laughs> um, so, uh... You know, like on Apple devices, how you can have like that, um, one of the, like the faces, it kind of reminds me of that. It's kind of funny. I, I think it's really cute. Yes, I've reached my final form. Okay, and I'll show you really quickly, like the full body of my model. So I'll make this big. I mean, obviously, it, uh, it's not gonna like crazy, crazy move. <laughs> but um, this is the full body.
Okay. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Um, hi, Ava. Yeah, Kevin did such a great job and he did it so speedy too. Okay, next. Um, thank you for gifting a sub to seven, Otter Guy. Um, okay, so uh, the graphics credits all go to Kiara. Um, she did. Um, all of the like backgrounds, the assets, my logo, uh, everything like that she she made. Uh, she's super, super, super talented. Um, and she takes like the most vague uh, ideas and she makes them like amazing and pretty. Um, she also did my last logo, uh, which I changed, which you can see. Um, in the upper left. Uh, she did such a good job. Um, and uh, HM has made this background music, um, which you should follow him, HMO2Fly. <laughs> um, yeah, everything I'm... Oh! Levi, thank you so much for gifting five subs. What the heck? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you also for, for subbing. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys um, all enjoy um, the emotes. Yes. Hopefully this month, uh, whilst you have your sub, I will get the animated emotes and you guys can enjoy those as well because I have them all set up. Just Mr. Twitch has to give me the go ahead to to get um, my my emotes. He has to give them to me. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Twitch. Where are they, Mr. Twitch? Okay, okay. Um, Next. This is a great segue into talking about my emotes. Um, my emotes were done by four amazing women. <laughs> um, the first one, uh, Geraldine, uh, she made most of my emotes. So pretty much all of the emotes that uh, you guys see, uh, she has made. Um, the next one. I carry Sora. I'm sorry, that was like the first time I said that out loud. Um, <laughs> she made all of my what will be my follower emotes. Okay. Um, I do have some of them uploaded right now at uh, some higher tiers, uh, but she made all of these ones right here. Um, they will be the follower emotes when Mr. Twitch gives me my follower emotes okay <laughs> uh next is hyun i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name uh she made um all of my christmas emotes um yeah i don't have follower emotes either mr twitch is gatekeeping he's a gatekeep girl boss Um, yes, okay, so, um, Hyun made my, um, crying emote that I have, and also all of my Christmas emotes. <laughs> Twitch is gatekeeping and gaslighting, but she is not girl bossing. <laughs> That's a good one, Lee. <laughs> okay, hello, Ed, by the way. Um... Next is, um, Matilda. 
Uh, she made actually all of my old emotes. If you guys remember um, all of my old emotes, uh, she made those. She's she's very, very talented. Um, and I still recommend working with her to this day. She is amazing to work with, um, as are all of the ladies here. But um, right now on my channel, all she has made is the glare emote. So she is the creator of the glare and also the KO1GG. Um, she made that as well. But um, for right now, she is the glare, the master of the glare um, is Matilda. So these are all of their um, their Twitch um, usernames, and also they're they're all in the exclamation point credits. If um, you're you're ever curious, uh, you could just do that, or um, there's a link to that in my bio as well. Okay, uh... How you been? How are you? <laughs> okay, and that is pretty much everything. Um, oops, that is pretty much everything. I will become bigger. Hold on, give me one second. It's a little scuffed to be moving everything around all the time. Um, but yeah, that that's everything. Um, that is my, my whole, uh, sh like introduction, like, um, whole thing um again if you are ever curious about who made anything on my channel i have like some of the major major things in my um panels um but like a super detailed list will be in that exclamation point credits um like things from my um alert sounds like all of that stuff i just didn't want there to be like a really really long list in my panels um, so I, I made a card and I, um, did like everything in that card. I still need to add HM to that card. Uh, but you guys know HM made this music. I mean, he dropped his BRB music mixtape, guys. What are you doing? You have to download it. <laughs> okay. Um... I have one of those, Lee. I have one of those. But Mr. Twitch has not given me the animated emotes. <laughs> yes, this is um uh HM's um band camp where you can download a whole um he made a whole um He, he made like a whole album of BRB music um, for like his streamer friends to use and it's I think it's really amazing um, he has some pretty cool ones on there too um, yeah unfortunately like these ones that you see um, the KO1 Blanky um, it's uploaded onto uh, BTTV so that's um, the reason why it's there but um Sad. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna play some Genshin Impact. I just, um, okay, this is gonna be a little scuffed for a second here. Um, okay gonna pause that um we're gonna open genshin we're just giving her a second um Uh, 
then moving to this screen. Then Happy debut, D A Y Y Y. Thank you so much, Chrissy. <laughs> and thank you so much for the sub as well. I really, really appreciate it. Um, okay, okay. Sorry, this is kind of, um, Whoa, Kim! Thank you so much for the gifted subs. What the heck? Kim, you're doing the most right now. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, we're set. We're set. This is good. Okay, now. Um, I did, like, practice a little bit, like, playing this game. While I'm, like... Um, yes. <gasps> Kevin, thank you so much for giving a sub to Vaughn. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for stopping by. Okay. Waiting, 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 waiting. Oh, ASMR. Okay, okay. Oh, everyone. Let me uh, turn the game music down. Okay, hello. How is everyone doing today? So, I kind of caved and I got Jenna and the waifu. I got her. Look at her boobies. Look at them. Look at them. Look at her butt. Look at that. Look at those thighs. Look, look. She's a masterpiece. A masterpiece. Look at her. She's in good shape, right, Gabby? Right? Look at her. She's gonna freeze you to death. Where's the sweaty button? <laughs> this is how I feel about her. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Look at her. Okay. So. Look at these beautiful numbers. Woo! Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Hey, Jam. How are you? 
This is our weapon. It's the primordial jade wing spear. Beautiful. Look at this artifact. Who plays Genshin? Look at this artifact. Look at this. Hi, Kire. How are you? Okay. Uh, no more. No more. No more whispers. No more. Okay. 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 Um, let me uh, put my microphone a little back there and turn back on the game music because it's kind of awkward not to have anything going on in the background. Ooh, catch a Pokemon. What will Kevy get? Ooh, a Rosalia, Rosalia. Roselia, right? I, I I don't know why I just had the biggest problem uh saying that. Who knows? Who knows? Probably because I was looking at Chen, huh? Oh, also, guys, let me show you. Um. Um. I got um. Hitching's uh skin. Look how nice she looks. Look at this skin, it's so pretty. So if you guys didn't know, I'll show you what her old one looked like. Looks like this. Still, still very pretty. Hello, Kyrum. If that's how you say your name, let me know. If not, let me know. Um, and then this is the the new one. You want it, Kimchi? You gotta get it. It's on sale. That's what you gotta tell yourself that it's on sale right now, and that if you decide that you want it later down the line. Then you're gonna have to pay full price. That's what I tell myself. Also, Kemchi, how are you? How is it going? Oh, Kemchi, Kemchi, let me show you this artifact. It's not wailing. It's not wailing, boss. It's not wailing because you're buying it. It's, um, you know what you're getting and you get it. So. It's not, it's not technically wailing. Kenji, look at this, look, look at this. Look at this artifact. Look how beautiful. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway. Okay, we gotta go this way. Yes, sell the agenda. The chat is overlapping. Yeah, I know, but there's like... What can I do about that? You know what I mean? I mean, I guess there is something I can do about it. Oops. 
What'd you run away for? <laughs> Dead. Ooh, you're making chili? I made, um... Well, okay, I didn't make chili the other day. I made, like, it's like a, a black bean soup, you know? It was really, really good. I mean, I wouldn't say I love chili because, um, I mean, I don't really like beans that much. Um, it only, it it, okay, listen, I know I said I made a black bean soup, but it just depends, you know? I don't like okay, I don't like it when the beans are like and I should have healed it's okay. Um I don't like it when the beans are like super super mushy, if you know what I mean. Bean there done that. Oh my god, Adam. <laughs> We're way behind schedule. I totally was not paying attention. Yeah, but you know sometimes when you get food that has beans in it, the beans are like super mushy. I hate that. Next on the agenda. You can eat with a straw. Wait, what? Um... Oh yeah, like refried beans, I guess. Hi Danny, how are you? How are you doing today? Thanks, thank you. I really appreciate it. Wait, why did I just... Oh my god, why did I do that? Okay, okay. How are you doing, Danny? <gasps> Levi, stop! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Thank you for gifting five subs. You need to stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Kemchi. Thank you. Okay, let me let me let me get some heals. Uh thank you guys so much for like all of your excitement and positivity. I was like honestly feeling like super super badly today. Like I you know like I, I said in the beginning of the stream that I'm actually sick. Um, and I was feeling like super, super poorly and just like being here with you guys. Thank you so much, Aaron, for gifting us sub to Danny. 
um just being here with you guys and seeing your like happiness and positivity it's like really made me feel a lot better and i really appreciate it thank you thank you danny also if you guys are new here um this is my discord uh feel free to join we have a channel um that is a gambling channel and uh if you um if you get the highest amount of points by the end of the month which the month is still young guys the month is still young um you will be able to get a free um month of discord nitro imagine being young <laughs> Honestly. You know, that brings me to something I read. I saw this tweet earlier today. Um, and it was like a tweet about how um, like a lot of people have been saying that their 20s have been ruined because of COVID. Which is true. I feel the same way. Um... And it was, they were saying how um, we should stop um, thinking that we can't do anything after age 20, um, that our lives are, are long and full, and that just because you're past 20 doesn't mean you can't accomplish new things or, um, you know, try new things and, um, you know, live your life freely so i think that's a really good thing to remember i think we all forget that sometimes i ruined my 20s no well see look at um akidan no see see right now you have so many friends here on Twitch. I'm your friend. I'm pretty sure everyone else here will say that you're their friend. Um, and just because you're past 20 doesn't mean that um, you can't have a fulfilling life and do new things. And we all love you, Akidan. And we're going to make your next chapter in life the best ever. Because we love you. Okay. Now I'm going to collect my adventure rank rewards. Love and positivity only. Thank you for completing today's commission. Add Astra. Okay. I love all of you guys so much and if you ever need someone to hype you up or give you the honest truth, feel free to DM me. I'm a very blunt person so remember this is honesty. <laughs> um, but sometimes you need to hear it. Sometimes you need to hear that, you know... You're, you know, pushing yourself deeper into a hole, you know, 
good friends in life will will give you some tough love a little bit. I've gotten for sure tough love some from some of you guys. Um, and I'm really appreciative towards that because sometimes you don't realize how like down you're putting yourself until like someone else points it out. Like I have had friends, you know, in my life and on here as well that, you know, they kind of like dig themselves deeper into like that depression hole. Um, and you got to tell them like, you know, we all love you here. And sometimes you got to fake it till you make it and say that you love yourself, you know? Someone I dance with, um, I said some th is this to her um, the other day, or not really the other day anymore, like the other week, like a month ago or more. <laughs> and... Um, I said to her, I'm like, you know, people say you shouldn't be fake positive, but honestly, like, fake positivity helps so much because, like, you could just, if you just try to lead a more positive life, even though you don't feel positive, sometimes that starts to, like, make you feel more positive. And she was telling me yesterday when I saw her, like, okay like I'm actually feeling more positive lately um since I've been telling myself to like actively be more positive exactly fake positive is better than no positive <laughs> okay I'm gonna do a little bit of the story quest I think this is a story quest. It might be an Archon quest. If you guys didn't know this, I wear glasses. Um, most of the time I wear contacts um, in life. But uh, I'm wearing my glasses today because what's the point in wasting money? So I use uh, one-a-day contacts. So what's the point in wasting money if... Um, I'm not going out and doing stuff. So if you see, like, my model kind of, like, freak out for a second, um, it's because I'm, like, adjusting my glasses. <laughs> Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild... Yeah, I need more money to waste on Kenshin. <laughs> rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! Remember to stay hydrated, guys. So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Nikki. Hey, Kea, remember to stay hydrated. This would be a huge opportunity. I'm staying hydrated. Lady Ningguan, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Hydrate or dihydrate. are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Prostrike, but I've never even heard of those other two. If you guys don't have water next to you right now, I'm gonna need you to get up and get some water. Follow in Otter Guy's footsteps. Only sufficiently large they are hydrated for clear skin. I have coffee. Does that count? Well, coffee is like bean water, right? Yes, I have a hydro flask too. You know, HM, 
um hydro flask had a discount during christmas time where it was buy one get one free isn't that like a really good deal dice visuals serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with adepti art they are yeah they did the mechanical core itself and not to mention you also got the free uh sip lid if you know what i mean Hi, Pastel. How are you doing? Pastel. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, Oh my god, that's crazy. Pastel, what are they doing to you? You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. I try these things won't be easy to get hold of, but if it means a chance to get some paperwork, a midnight shift doing paperwork. <laughs> from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. <laughs> what a coincidence. I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but um I have some business to do. Ooh, Hong Fei. He's got the got the hook up. Quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. This character has hair like Adam. Oh, look, look at his glasses. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I thought his the top of his glasses were his eyebrows. But, or I didn't know they were his eyebrows. I thought they were broken or something like that. But it's his eyebrows. <laughs> Oops. We won't be rebuilding the game chamber? This is a huge deal. Let's get involved. So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Seven also does have broken glasses. <laughs> Providing the question pertains to something I am Are they still broken? The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have- I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please seek out- Adam! Why do you fall asleep with them on? You can look at your phone without your glasses, right? Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. I really like my glasses. Um, they're like a plastic frame. They don't have any of those like, like pads to sit on your face. Um, and they're like clear see-through plastic. Oh, Otter Guy, I do that all the time. Um, well, I do it um, when I'm taking a nap. But I've also heard that, like, if you fall asleep with your contacts on, they can roll back into your eyeballs. Do you wear glasses, Danny? Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private. No, I don't need it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! 
Aaron wouldn't be too powerful without glasses. Why don't you stand there? After her. <laughs> Otter guy, that's bad. I used to, um, okay, this is, this sounds really, really bad, but I used to, um, I used to leave in my contact. So I've been wearing contacts since I was like, 11 or so um which i've heard is like pretty young to start wearing contacts at least that's what my eye doctor here in the states said um he's like yeah usually we don't start people on contacts that young um but yeah so basically i Um, would be really bad, and Anura, thank you so much for the follow. Nowhere left to run. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I would leave in my contacts, and then I got an eye infection, and this sounds really gross, but my doctor told me underneath my eyelid. So, like, I had this problem. The reason why I found out I had an eye infection is because whenever I put in my contacts, all I would do is blink and they would fall out. They would just, like, come out of my eyeball. Um, and then, so I went to the eye doctor and he said that underneath my eye, I have, like, my whole entire inside of my eyelids have tiny bumps. And, yeah, so I had to, <laughs> I know that sounds really gross, <laughs> um, but yeah, I couldn't wear my glasses for, like, I don't know, something like two months or something while I had this infection. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Tell them, Shanha. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. <sighs> I won't. Hey, banana back. God, that was kind of loud. <laughs> no more excuses. Yeah, I saw you strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food and only taking a few bites. That sounds like me. Then Shinyue Kiosk, then Wanmin Restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. Yeah, pointing isn't polite. Could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? The master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you something's not right. Afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. 
Oh, you again. Oh, you again. What are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? You, you ought to mind your own business. I swear. Silence. How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, Sarah. Pl 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 please, let me explain. Hooligans. <sighs> Shenhua. Shenhua? My name. <laughs> I've heard about you two before. Paimon's name is Paimon. Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times was all it would have taken to get him to surrender. You can't do that. That's way too violent. Where's that Lila Harbor? There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know. Laws? <sighs> no. Apparently not. Really? So how exactly have you... <laughs> I can't do it while I'm sick. It hurts my throat. <laughs> that would be my stomach growling. I haven't eaten enough. You're so honest. Wait, that's right. They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that only took a small bite of each dish. And of course you're still hungry. So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm. Chingsen, glaze lily, violet grass. These are my usuals. Interesting. Hmm. Medicinal herbs? Kind of hard to explain. Mm. Anyway, Bubu Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal. After all, can't work on an empty stomach. Can't work on an empty stomach. Wait. Do you think Shenha might be an adoptive? Seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things... Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chinsen, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Gardas, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? Please let me know if you prefer Stardust or Aurora or both. Just let me know. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh, thank That's you. We have in um, Seven or Aaron who changed my uh uh game category. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. She's really eating them. <sighs> My hunger has now abated. <laughs> thank you. Rather awful. <laughs> Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance. After consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how can you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go. I feel you, Paimon. I feel you. Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Interesting. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Yeah. Um, so, I, um, subscribe to HelloFresh, um, not sponsored, and, um, 
I get two meals a week from them. Because, okay, so I used to order out food all the time from Uber Eats. But it's so expensive, guys. Like, each meal is, like, 20 to $25. And I would get one, like, every single day or something like that. So even though um HelloFresh is still expensive for... um Okay, so I just get it for myself. So I get um two meals a week and each meal is two servings. So technically for me, it's four meals a week. Sometimes more if it's like a lot of food. Um, but yeah, that's what I have. And those four meals a week are $50. It's, it's expensive. Um, right now it's discounted because I only do it when it's discounted. <laughs> So what I do is like usually it, you get it discounted for about two months and it's only like $20 a week or $25 a week. So it's like half price. So four meals for $20 is, is a good deal um, no matter what. So basically after that trial period is done, I cancel it and then they send you messages like, oh, we miss you at HelloFresh. Uh, enjoy 16 free, me free meals on us and so then I join again and then I use the free meals and then I quit and then it's just a cycle <laughs> well basically they only give you one feel free meal a week so you're still paying for one but you get the other one free that's how they do it Enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, great! Paimon almost forgot! We came out to take part in the- We did to cheat the system, system, I'm proud. <laughs> and, and now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hello, Sebastian. How are you? Unfortunately, KO one zip is a bit emote. I'm sorry. It is a twenty five thousand bit emote, yes. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> yep! You get to ask me Wong any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the contest too, Shenra? Hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Wow, you really don't have to. But having my guesses help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Let's see about that. Sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. <laughs> we alone shall become the victors. Nico! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? Sunset Vermilionite. Blunder Course and Adepti Sigil. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Pot Strike. I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, Baizu. it's you. Baizu? What are you doing out here? Lady Mingguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Lady Mingguang needs so much wound dressing all 
all the shedding? I'm not too sure. Hmm. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customers' personal affairs. Yeah, it kind of sounds condescending. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Me and Boo Boo Pharmacy is very... She borrowed Chi-Chi? Right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? No, no. We've got other stuff to do. Um, Wouldn't it be so cool if they added, um like kind of like a permanent mini game where you could work part time at this place or maybe um at that food place in Mondstadt or wherever and you could just run errands for them and then they give you money or you could literally just stand there and people come in and order stuff kind of like when um rises up all the way into the clouds it's very rare indeed like uh what is it called like you know those games that used to be really popular on like as mobile games where you like run a restaurant and you have to like put everyone's order in. It could be like a mini game like that. And then you could get a lot of money. And that could be a way that people can make money. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. His voice kind of reminds me, I don't know if you guys have seen Hunter Hunter, um, but there's that, the one character that's like a clown, um, I forget his name, but, um, it kind of sounds like that. Hello, Xingqiu. Master Xingqiu, thank goodness you're finally back. Huh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. Mm. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Ooh, maybe. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingqiu. Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shoo, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Xingqiu. Then I will leave you in peace. You know, there's this rule that the royal family in England has to follow that all boys, uh, like young boys, um, I, I forget what age it stops at, but they can only be seen in public in shorts. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Mingguang's contest as well. As well? You mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece... Yeah, even if it's cold outside. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction cost <gasps> may be in excess of 500 million mora. 500 million? 
That's so expensive. I recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and it's just not worth it. But but that any sunset for Millie and I. Don't panic. I don't think it gets that cold in England though. Gazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of Drifting Plat, Sea Gazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilionite. After Sea Gazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode. And after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is- Aaron, don't you always say, Oh, I'm so cold. That's great! And then you're wearing shorts. Igloo. <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. Hmm. All right then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. Monsters. Be very careful. Okay, we will be. Thanks, Jinko. Mm. I feel the same way actually. As long as I have slippers on, my lower body doesn't feel cold. Or as cold. Actually, sometimes I feel cold, like, in my joints. That, that makes me feel so old. Whoa. Hmm. This place is hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new beauty over there? Feeling. Whoa. Okay. We're good. <gasps> Whoa, so pretty. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset vermilionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let's hide and see! Look! It's gone and snuck beneath the clouds! And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete! Oh, could there be something below the clouds? 
Mm. These are not real clouds. They are the product of an adepti art used for spatial partitioning. Interesting. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the adepti art. All right, then let's do it. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know what. Let's kill them. Haven't done one of these in so long. Oops. Wow, this would be really cool as like a teapot world. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Oh, I have to hit it. <laughs> Whoa. We need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Surprise that. Oh my god, that scared me. No! 
What a bully. Uh oh. I wonder if there is any, um, ooh. Oh, I missed that chest. You always miss those, like, hidden chests in the beginning of things. Interesting. Aha. Guess that's just decoration. What the heck is that? Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for the follow. That was my yawn. Um Uh I forgot it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 it's, uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Chicken. Uh, jo Josuke. Thank you for the follow. You know that one time, Kev, you were talking about something like that had to do with streaming and I made some kind of joke and I was like, you don't even stream? Yeah, that wasn't a joke. I was serious. I didn't know you streamed. <laughs> and then I felt guilty, but then everyone thought it was a joke. Like, I was making fun of you for not being consistent, but, um, I, I was serious. I was serious. Um. <laughs> so cute! That's true, but then again, why isn't it floating? Well, 
substrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Honestly, Kev, I, I didn't follow you. I just followed you, so we're, we're even. Only after being activated does Clawstrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Sunhouse. You seem to know- You know, I did that too to, to Freddy, actually. Um, basically, like, I, for, for some reason, like, I didn't follow Freddy, and I literally only followed him, like, maybe, like, a month or two ago, because, like, once I realized it's been a while since, like, I knew him and I didn't follow him, um, then I felt really guilty, so I didn't follow him, and then, like, the other day, um, well, not the other day. This was like a month or two ago. I actually ended up following him because I was just like, whatever, whatever. Start telling story after story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. I hate it here. I can handle the weight quite I'm gonna easily. become the Joker. <laughs> I really want to get more of those sound um, redemptions. Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a claw stripe sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. My safety. Heavy objects. It's just common sense. Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the claw stripe. Let's meet at the building site later. How is Yeah, they really are, you know, because sometimes, like, I'm focused on the game. I mean, th honestly, like, the reason why I, um, originally, like, um, added those, like, sound alerts is because, like, I, um, sometimes, like, I'm just, like, too into the game and I'm not paying attention, um, so, like, it helps me, like, remember, like, oh, yeah, hydrate. Oh, yeah, hi, yeah. like, someone's here. Remember to stay hydrated. You know what I mean? Um, so, I thought, like, adding fun ones would be cool, too. I had asked, like, Andrew forever ago to do it. But recently, like, I was really on his back. I'm like, send me your voice now. So he did it, oh right? God, I can't believe my eyes. And then, um, I was like, oh wait, it would be cool to have ramen too. I was gonna ask she Jay to say something, but I didn't know she what she would say, Jedi, you know? So I didn't hey, ask. Banana back. <laughs> oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that Ugh. in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. Oh, true, 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 ball tech. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. 
Congratulations. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want that one. My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shinra! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest cross-dried specimen. But I'm a rare talent. Point. It's not helper. It's secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. What do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of clostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. I'm good. Oh, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold their head up high <laughs> and break into a big smug smile. I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. and reclusive too way different than normal people but uh, i am not uh Shenra? i'm fine i've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode uh i'm just a little fatigued um well byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use right let's go check in and take a rest no, no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. Mm. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go and eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice comfy bed. All right? Seriously. Okay. If you insist. Great. Now we're talking. Okay, let's head to our hotel. there checking in are we you're just in time we only have two rooms left since this was chosen as the building site for the new jade chamber we've had a constant stream of people in this area and not just workers either visitors business people tea sellers all sorts oh business is booming for me today very few vacancies you're lucky you got here when you did hey <laughs> One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. Yep, here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Shenra, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Let's buy one for Shenra, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, all right. I will head to my room for now. You know, there's this thing in the... What's it called? In, like, the VTuber studio. And... It, like, makes it look like that you're, like, in the game. 
you know? Like, it gives you the same, like, lighting effects as the game that you're playing. I wonder what it would look like for this. I'm scared, like, I don't know if it shows any, like, personal information in the screen because I'm, like, not really sure where it is. Um... Maybe I'll do that another time. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Sakura, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. How are you doing? Ugh, I have to climb all the way up there. One trusts you have met Shen Ho. So, are you getting along quite well? So far, so good. Yeah. You know Shen Ho's two club is Tina? Naturally. Say for Gan. Yes, I do have Shen Ho. I could show you her in a second if you would like. Cool. So, I guess they're adept the same anyway. Calling her Shen Ho feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. Hi, Grant. How are you? Maybe it'd be better if we called her. Thank you for the host. Her adeptus name. Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an adeptus name? Uh, don't all adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? What? You knew already? So is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary humans? <laughs> well, to start with, her problem-solving methods are extremely direct. Ah, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shenha by chance in a cave. <gasps> Levi, stop! <laughs> Thank you so much for for gifting five more subs. You need to stop for real. I really appreciate it, but I worry about you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. The god's remains incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for your kindness. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, okay? When one arrives. She had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival. Hey, banana back. So her. Thank you for the posture check. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. 
She then passed out without uttering a single word. Well. But in other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, then the miner... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though. Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Xiang He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti art. Mm. All, however, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, Whoa, scary. day by day. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red rope to keep her homicidal instincts at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Hmm. It is only by fate that people That was like a weird uh zoom. Hers <laughs> path has crossed with yours. You'd be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you and take good care of her. Oh. Draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. Ning Guang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well, one is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Okay. Guys, I actually think that this is probably a, a good place to end. Hi, Tina. How are you? Um, I think this is a good place to end for today. Um, thank you guys um, so much for all of your uh support today i really really appreciate it and um here we go um i really look forward to um my uh new journey and <laughs> i i'm really happy um uh to, to spend um that journey with you all thank you so much for your support everyone um and uh thank you for your kind words as well um here uh is my discord oh um oh hi sammy <laughs> i'm actually ending stream right now um but maybe you were lurking it's okay um but basically yeah thank you guys so much for today i really appreciate it if you haven't joined the discord already please uh feel free to join um thank you so much and i hope you guys have a wonderful uh rest of your day thank you
Bye. 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 Bye.